Hi folks, welcome back to Pigs in a Bullet. My name is Neil. Today we're talking barbecue sauce, more specifically a Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. So this recipe is pretty simple. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a can of Dr. Pepper, uh, two cups of ketchup, a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, about a teaspoon of salt, and about a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Um, you can add whatever other spices, seasonings that you want. Um, I'm going for a sweeter profile, so that's all I'm putting in mine. We're going to put all that in a saucepan, and we're going to mix the ingredients, and then we're going to put on medium heat, and we are just going to stir that regularly until it starts to bubble, and then we are going to turn that down to a simmer, and let that run for about five minutes until everything is, all the sugars are dissolved. And then we're going to put it in a container and we'll be able to keep that in the refrigerator until we're ready to serve. All right, folks, we got this down to a simmer. Uh, going to give it about five minutes and then we'll pull this off and put it in a jar. Um, while I'm doing that, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about my barbecue journey. I've been cooking about eight months. Uh, I've had a lifelong appreciation and fondness for barbecue, uh, but I've only been cooking it for about eight months. Now getting started, um, I was a bit overwhelmed. I had good friends who you'll also see on this channel that I could rely on, uh, but I watched a lot of YouTube videos like maybe you're doing right now, and I thought it'd be good to kind of walk you through what I did. So in addition to relying on friends, I also bought a bunch of store-bought sauces and rubs and tried a bunch of different things. While I was also learning the fire management, I was also learning what flavor profiles I liked. And a couple months in, I decided, you know what? I'm ready to try to make my own rub. So did some looking online, found um, Melissa Cookston's uh, sweet, pork rub, sweet pork rub that you can find online. And I just took it and modified it for my, my tastes. Uh, I am not a fan of spice. I am a spice wuss, <laughs> self-confessed. Um, you know, so I basically took her recipe, uh, started with it just as it was written, except that I did not put cayenne. I did dial up the chili powder a little bit, um, but other than that, it was as it was on the page. Started with that, and then from there, started to play around with the ingredients and the amounts, things like that, um, until I got it where... It fit me perfectly. Uh, I am doing the same with my sauce now. So um, I have used, you know, store-bought sweet sauces um, for quite a long time now, as far as, well, eight months, but um, I finally got the desire to do my own sauce. So uh, Dr. Pepper is a staple for me, <laughs> basically the uh, elixir of life in my opinion. So uh, there's always Dr. Pepper lying around. So I'm using that as a base. Uh, do want some of that vinegar tang, so that's where the ketchup comes in. That'll also bring in some sweetness. Um, and then of course, you know, brown sugar, um, salt and garlic, and uh, Worcestershire sauce. So uh, this is just about ready. But I just wanna encourage you, if you're just getting started, take some videos uh, you know, that you're seeing on YouTube and apply those methods, and then branch out from there and uh, create your own methods and rubs combination of uh you know wood coal uh different flavors and you'll uh you'll find something that you like and uh stick with it folks i just pulled this off the heat just going to give a little taste test not much just enough to uh get a little on the spoon see what we got that is perfect it's um sweet but with a little bit of vinegar uh give you a little bite on the back end I think that's gonna be good. Uh, just know that your your sauce may change a little bit when you put it in the fridge. Um, just keep that in mind and make adjustments to your recipe as you go. All right, so I've got this in a airtight jar here. And uh, this will store in the fridge for a couple of months as long as it's in an airtight container. Uh, you can get some mason jars and um, or jars like this on Amazon or pretty much anywhere. So uh, those are what I use. And like I said, they'll hold for about two months. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for me over here at Pigs in a Bullet. We just did a Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce that I think is gonna be really good on some ribs next weekend. So come back to see if I'm correct. 
And again, if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. We're going to be posting videos uh, as regularly as we can, documenting our cooks and uh, kind of walking you through our process. So uh, leave us a comment if you like what you see or if you think you got some ideas on uh, what might make it better. Uh, look forward to seeing you back here at Pigs in a Bullet. My name's Neil. Take care.